I think painting is very, very much alive. And I think, yes, an abstract art is, uh, is, is very much alive. And just painting in general, uh, I mean, abstraction as a movement is still so young. Uh, when you compare it to other forms of painting. Um, I mean, we were talk you were talking about Kandinsky, Malievich. I mean, we can even go back a little further and talk about Hilma af Klint. I think it's great that you're doing a show like this, which can, which can give an, an idea of, of, of what is happening uh, between older generation like Gerhard Richter, who's um, one of the greatest and, and one of my favorite artists, certainly, and then much younger artists. And I came across so many names that I wasn't familiar with, in fact, in your in your, in your work. Exhibition. You've been the curator of this uh, show, uh, Art of Tomorrow, about the role of uh, Hilla von Rebay, the first director of, at that time, so-called Museum of Non-Figurative Art. Was it, uh, Carol, the first museum of its kind worldwide, the museum specifically dedicated to non-figurative art? Well, it was certainly um, uh, an incredibly important institution for the dissemination of abstract art and, and certainly in, 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 in the United States and, and in New York. I mean, MoMA was, uh, was, well, had already been around for a good 10 years, but um, MoMA wasn't nearly as focused as Hilla Rebe and Solomon Guggenheim, uh, who really just really focus, as, as you know, um, on around non-objective art and around certain, Kandin certain, certain artists like Kandinsky or Rudolf Bauer or other European artists. Uh, I think it certainly played a very important role and uh, it helped, I mean, it showed a lot of young American artists what was happening in Europe. W would you agree and have you, have you done research or experience about this, this specific, I feel, connection between abstract art and, and sound and music? I, I think, I mean, there, there's undoubtedly some kind of relationship and synergy between art uh, and music and especially uh, abstract art and music. Um, uh, in fact, something which, which Kandinsky experienced uh, uh, himself, hearing colors and, and, and feeling sounds. Um, and, and I think abstract art really comes quite close to music because music is also something very abstract. Yes, and both yes. are patterns, you know, I mean, music is a pattern of sounds and abstract art is a pattern of line and color and shapes. Um, and um, I mean, abstract art doesn't uh, doesn't represent the observable world or the empirical world, just like music doesn't. So I think you can see a lot of connections which many artists have, have enjoyed over the uh, over 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 the years. Thank you.